Good morning everyone, it is Jack with Team Aquascape. We are out here in Aurora, Illinois, and we are gonna be doing a pond rehab today and tomorrow. It's gonna be a two-day job, but for you guys, it'll probably be one video. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. As you can see, we got our rock delivered right now. We got a decent amount of rock selection. It's gonna be an all granite pond. It's gonna be a three foot depth pond. I will show you guys in a little bit of what we are gonna be working with. The guys are at a mad dash to, to tear this thing out right now. But we have some steppers that we're gonna be incorporating into the pond. We're gonna be making this pond a little bit deeper than what it is now. So we have all our material, we have our truck. We just gotta drop that bed so then we can get rid of all our garbage that we're gonna be using today. Have our dingo out here too. And then let me show you guys what we're gonna be working with. We're gonna take these mats and we're gonna make our track plywood highway as we like to call it, to where we're working at right now. We have our 303 out here as well. And the guys are doing a fantastic job on tearing out this pond. We're gonna be coming in here, we're gonna be tearing up this entire flagstone patio. We're gonna be sitting with the excavator right where this wheelbarrow is at, and we are gonna be making this pond just a little bit bigger. Their entire intent of this pond is to, so they can have a little bit more surface area. When we showed up this morning, you could not see a single part of this pond because the plants were just overgrown and the rocks are just all falling on everything like that. So we're gonna come in, make this pond, maybe like a two feet wider all the way around and we're gonna extend the pond a little bit out to here and we're gonna make this pond three feet deep we're gonna widen that waterfall up just a little bit have it coming down into the pond more of like a babbly brook style waterfall and we're gonna be cruising right along so we are doing a fantastic job on pulling out the plants they want to keep all these plants on site we use one of our tanks up there and we're putting all the aquatics in that tank over there and then we have the fish sitting in this tank to the left over here they have probably six or seven nice sized koi in here. So we're gonna make sure that they're all nice and happy in this tank in the nice shaded tent that the homeowner provided. We made quick work of pulling out old rock and all those plants. Now we're coming in here and excavating out for the new pond. We're actually gonna pull the pond all the way up close to this patio like we normally do. So we're gonna go three feet straight down in this area here. So we're gonna pull all this dirt into there. That way we can create some shelves inside the pond because before it was just a bowl shaped area. And that's not gonna be the case when we get done with this. We are digging away at this pond. We have our first shelf kind of roughed in. We just got to fix this area here, but we're going to be coming down in this area all the way to right where the bucket's at. We're going to go three feet deep all in this area. We got this area roughed in for our steps. I know he's just kind of fine tuning in the bottom area. This is our one foot section. And then we're going to go down to our two foot section and then we'll go down to our three foot section. That way we're working our way down and not doing double work. our pond excavated all out everything is ready to go we're gonna put our fabric in and then jack is picking up some rocks down there that i accidentally kicked in so you're welcome jack and we're just going around we're gonna pick up all the rocks throw some fabric down throw our liner in and then we'll start rocking in this area here this is gonna be the most challenging part with that granite we have to staircase it up because we can't stack granite on granite because considering it's so round and then as soon as we get this rock in we're probably gonna jump over to the stairs and get the stairs done and then we'll kind of see where we're at for the day and then we will continue on rocking that bottom section of the pond
got a lot done. We got our uh, rocking and rolling, as DK likes to say. We're in here. We got our three foot wall done up into this point here. We are doing our stairs coming out of the pond. We only have probably one more step on top of this one, so they're turn out awesome. And then we're gonna get our another rock in here to frame out this step, and then finish up this wall here. And pretty much from here all the way to here, we'll be done. And then we're gonna start rocking in the second shelf because we always like to work our way from the bottom all the way up, and that way we don't stress out the liner, but we don't put any unnecessary tension on the liner because with us pulling down and everything like that and us backfilling stuff. the end of day one progress we were able to kick some butt i did not think we were going to get this far but when you have udi on the team we could kick some butt so we got our steps in we got our three foot depth area done we just got to do this edge tomorrow we got our waterfall coming in from the stream area done we just got a rock in from that pink rock to this peninsula rock the skimmer is in so we are going to be good to go we're just going to finish rocking up that area we'll have a team start to do edges and then we're going to put their flagstone patio back and then we're going to be out of here tomorrow that waterfall is going to be more more of a Babbly Brook style waterfall with the flatter Wisconsin granite that we have. So see you guys tomorrow. We are in the home stretch. We got 99% of the edges done all the way around the pond. We got water filling up and we are cooking. We got the walkway going in and we are gonna be firing this thing up pretty shortly and we're gonna be out of here a little bit sooner than we all anticipated. So that's always a good thing, especially on a Friday. So the next part will definitely be uh, the water running coming over these waterfalls. So please stay tuned and stay tuned on the uh, time lapse. 